Hello guys and welcome back and if you're new here as well thanks for checking out this video. Um, this is going to be a shorter video, I'm just doing a April haul of all the items that I've bought for myself since 90% of what I buy is for my business pretty much but I actually bought some stuff in April for me so I wanted to share that stuff. Um, the first thing I'm going to show I'm actually wearing right now and they're these plugs, oh if we can see them, I'll turn around. But these are from Love Kill, Love Kills Boutique. We'll check, we'll see. Yeah, it's Love Kills Boutique, they're on Etsy. I think they have their own website as well. I ordered these on Etsy though. I was shopping on there a little bit. Yeah, they do have their own website there. Um, and I got three sets of plugs, all two gauge, which is their smallest size. Um, here's my other pair, these are way smaller than the ones I'm wearing right now. This is the Dutzy, I think it's called, in black. Um, and then these guys, which are the black roses, which also have a little thingy around the edges like the ones I'm wearing right now. The ones I'm wearing right now they've shown are the cat eye ones. Um, I think I'll take one out real quick to show you guys better. The ones I'm wearing, this is called the cat eye, uh, I believe. It has like various colors in there. Really cute. They are, um, about half the size of my ear. They're way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, those are the same size. And then these side by side. This is more of the size I thought they were going to be for some reason. I don't know why I thought they were going to be that small. Um, this size I prefer because I do have regular earring holes next to my stretched ones. So I like to wear this size and then wear like a dangly earring next to it. This I can't wear any of my second holes though. But I think they're still cute. So I think that was the only Etsy item um, that I got for myself. At least that has arrived. And I am still waiting on several things that ordered last month to arrive still. Um, another thing I got was from a non-small shop, but they're on just Facebook. There are two new figure eight ferret harnesses. Um, I did already have one for Matilda, but I had a built-in leash. And the shop that makes that one has been on vacation for a while, so I'm still waiting to get another one of those for how light. But I thought in the meantime, I would get the kind you hook a leash to, because I want to hook them together when I walk them both together. I got one in purple and one in gray because I think they're cute colors to have together. I think Matilda's going to get gray and Hallie's going to get purple. Um, I can grab Matilda real quick to show you how these go on. Alright, so Matilda's on her. Um, they're called a figure eight because they cross in the front, which kind of does like an infinity sign. Oh, you got your foot in there. Wait a minute. There. Sorry. So it crosses like an X in the front. So it loops around the back of their shoulders and the back of their neck. And this could actually be tighter, I didn't know her paw was in there, and you just slide this down the tight end. And they can't get out of it as long as you tighten it enough. <laughs> Hi honey, we're not going on a walk right now. And I'm showing it with Matilda, not uh, Holly, because Holly still doesn't like the harnesses, and she just does barrel rolls constantly until we get outside. But Matilda's my chill baby, who's currently trying to cuddle me. Where you at? Hmm? I'll get that back off you, okay? So yeah, I'm excited to take them for a walk. I was going to take them for a walk today, but I did want to show these real quick before they possibly get dirty. It has been raining outside, so it's a little muddy out, and I'm going to start sprinkling again. So maybe if the rain stops, I'll take them out. Otherwise, I might be waiting a little bit. And then I got a lot of fake plants because I've been decorating my office. Um, this guy, he does not have home yet. I was going to put him in a different container than I decided not to. I got this one from Target. Oh, I did forget to say. Yeah, this is the Facebook page I got the harnesses from. So that's their Facebook link. Give a little directions on how you put them on. Which I already know how to do with my other ones, but if you don't know, it's useful. But yeah, I thought this was a cool little guy. And he wasn't very much. He was in like that little like I wanna say dollar section, but some of the stuff's not a dollar. In the very front. But yeah, I thought it was cute. I'm gonna put him in something eventually. And then this thing, I already had this jar, um, I just didn't really have anything in it before, and it hangs on my wall. But I added, this is a thingy, this one and this one, it's just three different things, it's stuck in here. And these are all from Joann's, and I did get this from Joann's, I think last summer or spring. Then I just got these ones this week, or last week. And then I think this was also a Joann's find, I think the rest of these are Joann's finds actually. And they had some very cute, like, house decorative stuff. 
I thought it was cute. I have to do fake plants. I like real plants, but I can't keep them alive and Felina eats them. Like, not just the leaves. She'll rip them out of their uh, planters and eat their roots. So I can't keep live plants. So there's those guys here. And then I got some more fake plants. So over here, uh, this is stuff I've had before. Um, but this is one of my fake plants, which is also from Joanne's that I got recently. Thought that was cute. And then this one was also at Joanne's. I think this was one of the ones they were getting, like they're starting to not have anymore. But I thought these would be cute together on top of these shelves here. So these are two different little, I don't know if they're shelves, I guess drawers. These are two separate things, but I thought they looked really cute and I needed more room to like store little things. So that was just like random things and receipts and dead markers I need to recycle. And then down here I keep all of my small dog and cat color stuff. So my big dog colors and my medium. And harnesses have a big drawer themselves, but I wanted the smaller stuff not to get lost so they go in here. Then another thing I got, which I have another video on I haven't uploaded yet, um, was this new lens since I broke my old one. This is the... 50 millimeter, I think it's a 1.8 F. So it was pretty good for product photography. It kind of is the blurred background deal. Um, I'm not quite used to it yet because I'm used to my old lens, which I could be really close to objects, and this one I have to be further away. So I'm still learning how to do all that. It's so dusty. But yeah, that was another thing I got this, oh, I guess last month, in April. Being obviously not like we've seen, seen much looking at the screen on my camera, but, um, okay. So obviously it's going to look weird recording the screen. But this was with the new lens. Matilda in the layer box. And Matilda running around. Um, I did start to record some stuff from one of my making stuff, but I decided to do it on my phone instead. So these are with my old lens after I broke it. See, like they all like this. She was being still here, and everything's blurry. And then obviously her moving around was blurry. But like even this one doesn't look like it on the screen. But when I upload it to the computer, this is fuzzy as well. So even that one is. Pretty much all of these were. So I got the new lens. So I'm gonna play around with that. So thank you for checking out this video. Um, so it was very short haul. I didn't get a lot of things this month or in April that uh, weren't for work. Um, but I usually don't get a lot of stuff for just me. Um, so yeah, I do have some more things I'm waiting on. I might do another haul video later. You guys let me know if that's something you'd like for me to do. Um, the next, I'll be uploading this one today, which is May 3rd. But my next video will probably be my little review type deal on that camera, the, or the lens. I've had the camera for years. Um, and then after that I should be getting probably more cosplay videos up. Um, I am taking a short little break from that again. I had hired a seamstress which was going to help me with my business. So it would a little more time for me to work on that kind of stuff. But then um, she quit after the training period. So I just um, interviewed another one today. So we'll see how that goes after I get her trained, and then hopefully I'll have some free time again, but I do have three stores I'm trying to get product in right now, so that's taking up all my time. But yeah, I'm real excited to get that mask done one Ash made, so that'll probably be the next um, cosplay build video I do. And then I think I'll be working on either the gauntlets or the shoulders after that. I kind of started on both a little bit. So yeah, thank you for watching, and if you want to get some sneak peeks for whenever I do have a little time here and there, to work on the cosplay, go check out my Instagram as I always, every time I'm working on my cosplay, I do little stories or post on my Instagram, which is Lunar Fox Aesthetic. And I'll have that link in the description box below. So yeah, and I'll see you next time and I'll probably be camera related and then cosplay related or maybe animal related. And I'm gonna take the ferrets for a walk. I thought about doing a video for that. So see ya.